It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, next question is from uh, Zachary. Oh, man. Okay, I love that he asked this question because this is one you and I have been talking a lot about. Um, and we haven't even we haven't figured this out yet. So we're going like to just Uh-oh. we're just going to kind of we're going to ask a question that we haven't riff. figured out. Okay. Um, this is what Zachary said. How does someone who's 32 catch up to being a prodigious accumulator of wealth? Remember, uh, this we have a wealth formula, which, Brian, you can talk about. And to be a prodigious accumulator, you want to double that. He goes, I'm 32, and I've got $330,000 invested. Uh, but that's half of what your prodigious accumulator chart recommends at my age. I just started saving 25%, but this feels impossible. So many of you out there have written us and saying, guys, I love your net worth dashboard. I love the template. I love being able to see my journey to abundance. I love being able to say my money guy wealth score. If you want to know more about that, go to learn.moneyguy.com. Check out our net worth template. You'll know what we're talking about. But they said, hey, you know, I've had this thing happen in my career where, you know, last year I was making this much money, but I got a big promotion or my income has advanced just drastically. Man, I feel like I'm doing all the things right. I'm saving 25% and I'm putting the money in. But man, the numbers you guys are telling me, I'm just having a hard time hitting that prodigious accumulation. Am I missing something? Am I doing something wrong? Am I failing? What would you say to that? Specifically, what would you say to this 32-year-old who already has $330,000 invested. Yeah, first of all, Zachary, you're, you're, you're definitely a financial mutant, and you're rocking it. And, and what's funny is Bo is not kidding that we have these discussions. Carter, our third-in-command here in the office, came in. He goes, man, we got to talk about something. <laughs> so I know that this is all—this is, this is definitely frothy financial mutant content. And the fact that, first, we fixed something that has just been a pet peeve of mine since I was in my 20s. You guys know I, I discovered— the Millionaire Next Door, I was blessed in the fact that Dr. Thomas Stanley and Dr. Danko wrote that book in the mid-90s, right mm-hmm. as I was coming out of college. It's better to be lucky than good sometimes in the fact that I stumbled over this book. And one of the first things in there was that Millionaire Next Door formula, which was you take your income times your age and then divide it by 10, yep. and you figure out you know what the average accumulator of wealth. And if you want to know prodigious accumulator of wealth, you multiply it by two. Mm-hmm. Well, so I, you know, I'm in my early 20s, have my first real job. I go and do it. I'm like, what? No way am I going to get that number. I mean, I'm, I'm like a year or two out of college. How in the heck could I even have anywhere close to this? So Bo and I have been talking for a while that, hey, th- years ago, we were like, this thing is great, but it has a huge problem mm-hmm. for young people because it is, we know the stats and, and and thank you, Ramsey Solutions, for putting even more data to it and the fact that we know that the typical millionaire is 49 mm-hmm. years of age. So to look at the Millionaire Next Door formula as a 25-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 35-year-old, you have a flaw in the system and mm-hmm. the fact that it's you haven't had enough time to build the resources. So Bo being a complete math nerd, <laughs> he's like, there's an easy way to fix this. So that's where we came up with the modified formula that we use, and it's built right into the dashboard of our net worth mm-hmm. tool, too. Um, so kudos for you for sure. designing it with that in there, is that if you are under 40 years of age, you actually get an adjustment to the wealth multiplier. Um, I'll let Bo, since it's his formula, put it in there. But this goes a step further in the fact that, and Bo alluded to this, is that there's another financial mutant problem. I know for myself, and I've shared this, I don't know, that because it doesn't do justice, because then you guys start saying, hey, what's your net worth? Tell us where you are. <laughs> I know, because I shared that my income right out of college was $28,000. Mm-hmm. So so a first-year accountant in the mid-90s, you all know, laugh at that and be like, what? I think you could go work <laughs> at Chick-fil-A right now and probably make more than that. But it's but back in the mid-90s, that's what an accountant got paid. and my But my income hit a point where it started the trajectory was was very steep. It sure. was that hockey stick, um, you know, increase. And a lot of you guys, as you're getting in your 30s and definitely in your 40s, you're reaching higher income um, creation to the point that now we have another distortion in the 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 formula millionaire formula is that if your income is going up greater than 20 25 percent a year. It's hard, never, it's, go, it. it's hard to be a prodigious accumulator of wealth because the income is being skewed. So we've had internal discussions. I think it ought to be – we ought to put another formula adjustment in there is that if your income is greater than 25%, and that's just a number I pulled out of the air thinking like your about – your growth and income? Your, your, your growth and income is greater than 25%. We go to a three-year 
average sure. to to moderate out so you can get a better dashboard. This, these are the nerdy discussions we have, but I, I left you some some meat yeah. in the fact that you can tell about the formula modification yep. and then feel free to talk about some of the other things we've yeah, covered. Yeah, so if you're below 40, if you want to know your money guy accumulator score, just do your age times your income divided by 10 plus the number of years until you turn 40. So if you are a 32-year-old, your denominator, the thing you divide by, would be 10 plus 8, because you have 8 years until 40. It'd be 18. So if you do that formula, you're going to find out where you should be an average accumulator of wealth. To be prodigious, you would then double that number. Again, all this information is on our net worth, temp, uh, net worth dashboard that you can go check out at learn.moneyguide.com. But it is hard when folks have these like rapid increases in income. So we're trying to figure out, is there some sort, sort of smoothing? I don't want to speak to that as much as this. Uh, we very purposefully, and you probably noticed this, our net worth template's fairly conservative, right? We have a thing that makes you think, oh man, could I be doing more? We put deferred taxes on there. What we want to do is we want to continue, we, uh, we value our homes, our use assets at cost, not at market value. We do that very intentionally because what we want to be careful of is even as we have some success and even as our incomes go up and our net worths come up, we don't want to ever get too, too comfortable until we actually begin defining, okay, what is financial independence? What is financial abundance? So I think it's okay for these like really young, high achievers like you, Zach, or say, okay, man, I'm not there yet. But boy, I'm going to get there. Boy, I'm going to get there. Boy, let that be some fuel on the fire to keep you making sound financial decisions, to keep you moving in the right direction. And just know that at 32 with $330,000 invested, you are crushing it. You are killing it. You That's are great. doing awesome. Well, I, if you make $5 million a year, you're not doing so great. But <laughs> if, assuming that you have like a reasonable income, that's fantastic. You are doing wonderful. Keep up the great work. And by the way, kudos to you for starting to track your net worth really early on. You are 35, 40, 45, 50 year old self is going to think it's awesome that they're going to have this diary to look back on that shows the wealth building journey. 